Good afternoon, everyone. Vicar Jesse here from Bethlehem Lutheran Church, here with a daily message of encouragement that comes from Scripture. This week in our walk through the Bible, we're looking at Jesus's transfiguration. We're also looking at the events immediately preceding it and those immediately following it. We're taking this wider view of the transfiguration in hopes it will show us why Jesus was transfigured and what that means for us. Yesterday we heard as Peter declared that Jesus was the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus stated that it was faith like Peter's on which he would build his church and Satan would not overcome it. Today we hear as Jesus shows his disciples what it means to be the Christ and what he has to do. Our scripture for today comes from Matthew, the 16th chapter, starting at the 21st verse. From that time, Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things from the elders and the chief priests and scribes and be killed and on the third day be raised. And Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him, saying, Far be it from you, Lord, this shall never happen to you. But he turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan, you are a hindrance to me, for you are not setting your mind on things of God, but on the things of man. Then Jesus told his disciples, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. For what will it profit a man to gain the whole world and forfeit his soul? Or what shall a man give in return for his soul? For the Son of Man is going to come with his angels in the glory of his Father, and then he will repay each person according to what he has done. Truly I say to you, there are some standing here who will not taste death until they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. We hear Jesus explain to the apostles that he must go to Jerusalem, suffer, die, and be resurrected. Peter rebukes Jesus, telling him that it's not going to happen. And then Jesus calls Peter Satan. You see, Peter, in his hope to save Jesus, is really condemning himself, doing the work of Satan. Jesus knows that he must go to the cross in order that the apostles and all of us can be saved. And so he tells Peter, don't hinder me. I must go forward. He then gives this speech to the apostles saying, if anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. So often we think that that means that Jesus needs us to make a sacrifice in order to follow him. But I think it means just the opposite. You see, Peter got in trouble when he tried to save Jesus and save himself. Jesus is saying, you can't save yourself. I have to do it. Stop trying to save yourself and let me. When Jesus comes again in his glory, we are made righteous through what he did, not by what we did. And so Jesus tells us, I'll judge you based on what you have done. But if you have faith in me, my righteousness is yours. I take your sin away and you will know the kingdom of heaven. You see, it's about what Jesus does, not about what we can do. We get eternal life because Jesus did go to that cross for us, and because he was the Christ, the Son of the living God. Hopefully you found some encouragement in these words, some reassurance. If there's anything we can do for you at Bethlehem Lutheran Church, please feel free to reach out to us via email, at office at blcdelmar.com. If there's anything I can do for you, you can reach out to me directly by emailing wilson at blcdelmar.com. Today, I just want to remind you that on Wednesday nights at 7 p.m., we have a Bible study discussing the scripture for the next week's sermon. You can come to this Bible study at any time. Each one stands alone, and they're a time of fellowship also where you get to see some of the, the other members of the church, other people who are interested in the scriptures. You get to talk, ask questions, and take a deeper dive with us. I would encourage you, if 
you have interest to email me or the office and we'll get you put on the invitation list uh, and we'll send out the Zoom link. Again, that's Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. and they're standalone, so you can come anytime you want. As always, God bless you. Have a wonderful day.